Good evening, YouTube friends and family. This is your girl, Laura, coming to you with another video. Today, this video is dedicated to all the fellas. There's something in here for the ladies also, but the majority of it will be dedicated to the fellas. Men, you're always asking, where can you find a good woman? And when asked, what do you mean by a good woman? Most of you imply or reply that the Proverbs 31 woman is what you have in mind. So tonight, let's talk about what the Proverbs 31 woman, who she is, what she does, what makes her the ideal woman. What's so special about the Proverbs 31 woman? All right, let's begin. First of all, it states that she's trustworthy, that she will do you good and not evil. So I can understand why you prefer someone like that. Um, she works willingly with her hands. She's not lazy. She jumps in. She takes initiative. She works so hard that sometimes she works late into the midnight hours. She knows how to buy and to sell. She takes care of her household. She minds her own business. She's not a busybody. It states that this woman is strong physically and mentally. And she knows that the work that she does is good. She knows that she can meet the requirements and she can produce. This woman is also described as being kind, compassionate, considerate. She serves, she's empathetic, and fellas, she gives. Now, she's always prepared. The winter season will not catch her slacking. Her family is well-fed well-clothed, and well-prepared for the winter. And oh my goodness, when she steps out, she gets a lot of attention. She gets compliments. She turns heads because she looks beautiful. Fellas, she knows how to clean up very well. But wait a minute. There's a piece in here for the fellas also. We talk about the standard of the Proverbs 31 woman but there's also an expected standard for you guys also. And that standard is that you guys are not to indulge in excessive drinking, nor do you give your strength away to loose women. You are to work and to be respected from your line of work and in your community. It is also required that you carry yourself like a man that's taken off the market, who loves his woman and only has eyes for her. Now, as we pick up again in Proverbs 31, it states that she's clothed in strength and honor and she will stand by you. Notice she will stand by you, not behind you, not in front of you, but by you, beside you. She's not a yes woman. She's not afraid to give her opinion. And if she feels strongly about something, she will stand her ground. She's willing to work hard to achieve whatever you guys need to achieve. She's willing to sacrifice, to save, and she knows the value of delayed gratification. She's a support and comfort to you and she builds her home and not tears it down. And she behaves like a lady. This woman is not easily shaken by the storms of life. When times get tough, she adjusts accordingly. She's your helpmeet, which is what God intended for her to be. Now, fellas, this woman is not clingy or needy. She can chill with you or without you. She's independent as well as dependent. She gives 100% to her kids and her family. She loves God with all her heart. She always keeps busy working, learning, acquiring wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Her children praise her. She excels at everything that she does. Now that doesn't mean that she doesn't struggle or have failures but she finds a way to overcome that. She fears the Lord, which the Bible states that a woman who fears the Lord should be praised. At the end of this chapter, it states that the fruit of her hands will bring her the recognition she desires. 
And I would like to leave you with a quote from the movie Hidden Figures about the African-American women who worked at NASA. One of the actresses told a young man who was inquiring that she was hired because she was a female. So she kindly corrected him by letting him know that they don't hire us because we wear skirts. They hire us because we wear glasses. Now, brothers, you may be missing out on the Proverbs 31 woman because she's busy working, so she doesn't hang out very much. You may find her at the bookstore, the library, the grocery store, or the bank, and sometimes at craft shows. You may overlook her because she does not dress in revealing clothes. That's not necessary for her because she knows the treasure that she possesses. Fellas, her independence may be a little bit intimidating for you. And when you meet her, she talks differently. That is the first thing that you will notice about her besides her striking beauty. She doesn't talk about gossip or rumors or anything like that. She talks about her ambitions, her hopes, her dreams, her accomplishments. She's very driven. She doesn't run in crowds, cliques, or packs. She doesn't need to. So, fellas, are you sure that it's a good woman you're looking for? Because there are still good women out there. Maybe you haven't looked hard enough. Well, thank you for listening. If you enjoy the content of my YouTube channel, please like, subscribe, or leave a comment. And as always, until we meet again, bye-bye, my friends.